But there is also another way in which you can calculate allele frequencies. Now, this way only works if you know the genotypes of everyone in the population. So there are a few occasions in which you can do that, either because there, you know it from the question, is already given to you, or in the case of um, traits with incomplete dominance, you can see the heterozygous distinguish them because they have a different phenotype. So in this case of these Japanese 4 o'clock plants, the heterozygous have pink flowers, while the homozygous dominant have red, and the homozygous recessive have white. So you can distinguish the heterozygous from everybody else, and this gives you another way of calculating the genotypes, or the, the allele frequency. So here the question is asking us, what is the frequency of the CW allele, or the recessive allele. And you know that this proportion, or this 9% of the plants, equals to q to the square. So one way of calculating the allele frequency is to get the square root of 9%, or the square root of 0 0.09, and that is 0 0.3. But another way is by directly counting the number of alleles present. So we have here an individual with the, the homozygous recessive genotype have two homozygous alleles. So they are contributing a total of 18 recessive alleles to the population. The individuals that are heterozygous, they each have one recessive allele. So of the 42 individuals, they each contribute one recessive allele for a total of 42 recessive alleles. But the heterozygous also have a dominant allele, and so each individual is also contributing one heterozygous, uh, sorry, one dominant allele. So all of them together will be contributing 42 dominant alleles. And the homozygous dominant, they only have the dominant allele, and they each contribute two of these alleles for a total of 98 alleles contributed by the homozygous dominant. And this gives us a total of 200 alleles in the entire population. So we have 100 individuals and each one has two alleles. The total alleles in the population will be 200. And now we can calculate the total of the recessive alleles by adding these two numbers and dividing by the total number of alleles. 42 plus 18 equals 60 divided by 200. That gives us Q equals 3. And that is the same result that we had used in the previous formula. So again, this method of, of just counting here, pretty much all we did was count and add up the number of alleles. This works only if you can distinguish the heterozygous from the homozygous dominant. So that is, if you know the genotype of all the individuals in the population, then you can just directly count all the alleles in the population and get the frequency of each of those.